The first confrontation between the Death Guard and the Iron Hands on Spadonius was merely a glimpse of the war that was about to start on this desolate, long-forgotten continent. With small forces on the ground, it was up to those patrol detachments to secure supplies and wait for more reinforcements. There was an old Mechanicum supply station near the ruined city of the first encounter that the Iron Hands had anticipated would be the location the Death Guard would expect a supply drop. It was in fact the correct guess by the Iron Hands, but it was not a supply drop the Death Guard were expecting, but more of an uncover mission in which the Plague of Shadows had received word from the Chaos Cult from the Spire of New Babel. The Cult of the Flayed Skull had found an ancient type factory in the ruins below the lowest hive level in the spire of new babel and it was thought that other forgotten areas on this planet may have more clues from the mechanicum that resided here eons ago the mission was a supply drop and it was the death guard defending this toxic supply outpost the death guard deployed in the toxic sludge as they relished in its effects and searched for the objectives the iron hands deployed across from the death guard ready to bring the fight to them with all units from both sides battle worthy from the last battle each army was ready and stared at familiar foes there were three potential areas where objectives may be and it was up to each army to uncover which would hold the clue that was needed each side had their own agendas noxus squirmlung had visions of becoming a lord of the warp the iron hand aggressors sole agenda was to survive this encounter so they could provide first-hand accounts to the strike cruiser in orbit the aggressors advanced through the barricades the captain, Jessus Duskus, flew up the other side of an outbuilding to hopefully try and flank the Death Guard. The Contemptor moved up in the firing range of the Rhino, shot its upgraded assault cannon to the Rhino using the Mercy is Weakness stratagem. The Intercessors secured the rear objective location and proceeded to shoot at the Rhino in the inn, leaving the Rhino with four wounds left. The Rhino disembarked all of its passengers and then moved up to block the corridor to protect the Plague Marines, and then used its smoke launcher to protect itself. After the Plague Caster disembarked from the Rhino, it then moved behind the Plague Marines to cast Smite on the Contemptor, but failed. It tried to cast Miasma and Pestilence, but failed. It was not showing favor to become the Lord of the Warp. The Plague Zombies held the position out of line of sight of the aggressors holding the rear objective. After the Plague Marines disembarked from the Rhino, they moved into firing range of the Contemptor and the Intercessors. They used the stratagems veterans of the long war and virulent rounds to fire all their bolt guns into the Intercessors, which rejected the flesh and embraced the machine to shrug off any damage. The Blight Launcher then targeted the Contemptor and wounded it. Then a plague of flies surrounded the Plague Marines. The Blight Hauler moved up to provide cover to the Plague Marines and to gain line of sight to the Contemptor. It shot everything, including its bile spurt, into the Contemptor, leaving it with one wound left. The Contemptor moves up close to the Rhino and shoots its assault cannon into it with no success due to smoke and being damaged, then fired the Storm Bolter into the Blight Hauler. The aggressors moved up into firing range of the Blight Hauler and slightly wounded it after firing everything at it. The intercessors held position and fired at the Rhino with no success due to smoke. The captain flew up to get closer to charge the Blight Hauler. The Blight Hauler fired overwatch and at the captain, doing a few wounds to the captain. The captain then swung his thunder hammer at the Blight Hauler, destroying the one that is called then dying. The Contemptor charged the Rhino that wouldn't die to gunfire and used his fists to wreck it and then consolidated into the Plague Marines. The Plague Marines attacked the Contemptor but was unable to destroy this dreadnought. Nox's Squirmlung was hearing the calls of the warp. It was his time to become the Lord of the Warp. He moved out of line of sight from most of the Iron Hands and then tried to cast Smite onto the Contemptor. His first attempt was not successful, so he tried again. He felt a surge flow through his hands. The Contemptor tried to deny his power, but was unsuccessful and was wrecked a second time by the Plague Caster. Noxus then cast Miasma Pestilence onto the Plague Marines. Now that the Plague Marines were out of combat, 
combat, they set their sights on the captain they laid low in the last encounter. They shot all the bolt guns into him and the blight launcher into the aggressors, doing only a wound to the aggressors. They then charged the captain and was able to take down the captain a second time, thanks to their hatred to the false emperor. The plague zombies held their position. The intercessors moved to the side of the outbuilding while still holding the rear objective. They shot at the plague marines, but due to the miasma and pestilence, the plague marines only lost one member of the unit. The aggressors moved towards the middle, trying to position themselves to hold the middle objective. They then fired on the plague marines, but due to cover and miasma and pestilence, they did no damage to the unit. The plague zombies moved up from hiding, still holding the rear objective, but closer to the middle of the battlefield. The plague caster moved closer to the plague zombies while still having range to cast miasma and pestilence on the plague marines. The plague marines moved up on the side of the outbuilding to block line of sight from the aggressors and closer to the intercessors. With their use of virulent rounds, they ended up claiming two intercessors with their firepower. They proceeded to charge the intercessors to kill another member of that unit and most importantly, to claim their objective. It was after the plague zombies had time to rummage through the objective, they claimed, that they realized what they were looking for was not there. What they claimed was no longer of any use. The intercessors fell back to allow the aggressors to fire onto the plague marines. The aggressors stood still and fired into the plague marines, but due to miasma, pestilence, their toughness, and cover, they only lost one member. The Iron Hands furious with the resilience of the Death Guard. The plague zombies advanced to the middle objective, barely claiming it from the aggressors. The plague caster moved over to gain line of sight to the cast smite onto the aggressors, and after almost suffering a perils of the warp, tried again with its success, only doing minimal damage to the unit. The plague marines shot at the retreating intercessors, killing one. They then charged the last member, and he stood his ground, and it ended up killing a plague marine in return. In the scrum of the melee between the plague marines and the intercessors, it was uncovered that the objective that they were holding was not actually an objective for the mission. It was the center objective in which the aggressors were trying to claim. The intercessors fell back from combat again from the plague marines. Through communication from the intercessor sergeant, the aggressors now knew the main objective. They moved on top of the outbuilding, and two out of the three aggressors fired their guns at the plague zombies. Due to cover from the cargo containers, only four zombies fell to the hail of bullets. The aggressors then charged the plague zombies, and after swinging all their power fists, one lone plague zombie lived to hold the main objective. Thanks to the disgustingly resiliency of the plague zombies, it was a victory for the Death Guard. And for sake of hatred, the plague marines killed the final members of the intercessor unit. The Death Guard found the clue they were looking for. Nox's Squirmlung did in fact become a Lord of the Warp, which gained him two experience. The Plague Zombies were marked for greatness due to their determination to survive to hold the objective at the end of the battle. The aggressors were indeed survivors, and due to not taking any casualties, they received four experience, which gained them the rank of bloodied and the trait battle tested. The intercessors were marked for greatness due to them lasting so long against the Plague Marines.